Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning into uh, this Zoom call. It is like really hectic with the internet speed and everything because everyone is working from home. And I thank you again for joining. So let me just introduce you to uh, Miss Abhinaya. Abhinaya is our content writer. Uh, so she is Abhinaya and uh, she'll be uh, talking to you about a certain topic, uh, which I think that everyone can get benefit from it. So I'll give the time to Abhinaya and uh, Abhinaya, you can start. Hi everyone, uh, this is Abhinya. So I have a total of three years experience and uh, in content writing and so at least I like uh, usually uh, um, we'll discuss about some interesting topics on uh, weekly basis and this week uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some of the skills that you need to excel as a content writer. So uh, being a content writer has its own perks like uh, you get an opportunity to work from anywhere across the group, uh, be it your home or office and uh, it gives an opportunity to see how your content works and, uh, and the value you create with it. But it's not an easy feat and uh, you need something extra special to be successful. And the first one in that is being adaptable. Like uh, if your content doesn't follow the correct uh, style and tone, it will fall flat. So. You should uh, capture the purpose of why you are exactly creating your content. Like for example, if you are creating a blog, uh, you should do the proper research and it should be like elaborative and in-depth. Whereas if you are creating an ad copy for uh, social media posts, it should be short and uh, it should instantly grab the attention of the audience and uh, it should immediately make them to take any decision. and. Uh, the more number of styles you learn to write, uh, the more valuable you become as a writer. And the second skill that I think is important is the uh, strong research skill. Like good research is the key for creating a good content. So it adds credibility and value to your content. And uh, it is crucial to find uh, data from reliable sites. So the information which you take should always be from credible right because the uh, audience always believe what you write and the third one which i think very important is uh, organizational skills like uh, it's all it's all about keeping on tab of all the work you're doing and the best way to do it is uh, maintaining a content calendar like uh, you should uh, mention all your deadlines and you should make sure that uh, you're following it uh, up to date because uh, missing the deadlines Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can yeah. Hear you. Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if you have. Can I continue? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you have missed your like, deadlines, uh, it will look like uh, the audience will have. Uh, the clients, the trust the clients have in you will get uh, decreased. So, always make sure that you prioritize your work and do it on time. The next one is good communication skills. So as a writer, you should be always vocal about your work like uh, if you have any doubts, so you should always make sure that uh, you clarify it with your clients. Uh, this is to ensure that there is no miscommunication and you can uh, easily capture the idea what the clients actually want. The next one is uh, you should have a basic knowledge about SEO like uh, uh, knowing how to choose the proper heading and uh, how to create the correct uh, meta tags and meta description um, meta tags and meta description and uh, applying proper headings and back, uh, you should also know how to use the proper keywords so uh, this will ensure that the content will get the necessary boost uh, in search engines like google so uh, as a content writer you should know some basic fundamentals about seo so that your, uh, the final quality of your content will be good. And the next one is, uh, you should have a clear understanding of your uh, target audience. So, first step of good uh, writing is to understand what your target audience exactly is. You can make it possible by using social media platforms like there. You can see what your uh, audience exactly want and you can see what they prefer. Uh, or you can use the analytic tools like... Uh, Google Analytics to find out more about your target audience. 
and the final skill which i think is very very important is editing skill so the first draft which we usually make will not be perfect and uh, to perfect editing you need a good eye for uh, attention and uh, uh, patience so apart from checking grammar punctuation uh, uh, and all you should also uh, keep an eye for written points and also for overused words so one thing you have to keep in mind that always it takes more time to edit than to create a content so uh, as a content writer i think that you should be jack of all trades and also be master of none so it's not i know it's not an easy task but you can make it possible through patience and passion so uh, to excel as a good content writer takes time but if you uh, put effort to improve all these skills i think that uh, you can excel great as a content writer thank you so if you guys have any doubt you can put it forward uh, ravina hello hi ravina would you like to share something from your hello. end so ravina is one of our interns huh? Uh, Ravina is one of our interns. She has been with us for the past uh, three months, I guess, three three and a half months. Ravina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she has also been creating content for our uh, clients in terms of blogs, articles, and social media copies. So Ravina, if you want to add something that you have learned from our company so far, that would be really helpful for them. Uh, one thing that I've learned is um, when you work with a company, they have a certain mindset, mm-hmm. a certain aim, a certain purpose from whatever they do. So it's very important to understand the purpose, and then you write accordingly for them, or do whatever your input is. Mm-hmm. So that that's one main thing I've learned from interning at Reed Skyline. Right, right, right. And I think uh, Ravina does a great job at creating content. Thank you, Ravina. So I'd like to add some uh, key points into content writing. So it's always about keeping it contextual. So uh, sometimes in social media, you can see that uh, there is a specific trend that's happening. and something that people are all talking about and you put your brand in such a way that you align your uh, brand's content uh, aligning with the brand's trend uh, that is happening on social media so that when a customer sees that trend and sees your brand aligned to it he is more uh, possible possible to uh, see what your content is so uh, being in touch with what the trends are happening and how you can uh, curate your content based off of that is very essential and content creating only comes with practice and uh, there is a lot of uh, involvement where people uh, connect storyline and storytelling into context because uh, writing an essay and writing an ad copy is entirely different scenario so when you write a, a project a thesis or a, you know like a project report you will be very uh, you know subjective and you will uh, put a lot of analysis into it but when you tell a story as a brand uh, let's take a, let's take apple or samsung for example they build storylines with their products that creates emotions in the product and then the customer will understand how they feel about the product so uh, uh, humanizing content as a, a person or a persona is very important than rather than just just putting words into a context so i think that is one of the things that i want to add so uh, if you guys have any more questions you can shoot it to uh, abhinay or ravina they'll be happy to shoot them hello uh uh so basically uh, she mentioned that while uh, writing the content we check the meta tags and all mm-hmm. but this meta ta- tags and all they come under the uh, you know direct html coding i guess right so how we cope up with that i mean how we match with that both both the actual content we write and those meta tags how we match it abhinaya sorry i couldn't hear you so you have mentioned the meta tags part right uh, uh, while writing our so uh, content writing is something we write at like a, a, you know for example if we take a paragraph or something and how do we match these uh, meta tags in this content because meta tags is something related to uh, you know basic html coding part or something right we use meta tags for seo you know what is seo right uh, yeah search engine optimization yes i do know it so well, actually uh, for example if you search uh, as a hotels in chennai if you take that and search it right you will get some listings yeah yeah right so that is what is called uh, uh, this is what you do in seo so the uh, 
like the hotels in chennai that part the heading is called the meta tag actually that is mainly uh, it will be around 45 to 60 characters and it will have the keyword which you are searching for like hotels in chennai okay so meta tags is not the coding part uh, it is the just the coding a... part okay 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 okay, okay just a piece of content like the keyword which you are searching for okay okay yeah so basically when you write a blog so you make sure that the content is discoverable uh, through google search so you uh, phrase keywords in such a way that uh, people find your content and if they find your, the content that you write is uh, very engaging and the customer likes it he stays on the website more so this is how you use content to uh, retain uh, retain the customer inside your website so it can be a blog it can be a social media copy so the longer time he spends reading your content the longer uh, he stays with the brand So that is something that content can uh, as I knew. Okay. 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 Cool. Uh, is, are there any questions, Ram? A mute. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, vocabulary is a must. Good vocabulary is required to do good content. Or you can write anything and post that you can edit. Because Abhinay has told editing plays a very crucial role. So does vocabulary matter, or I can write anything and then I can work on it? Ah, uh, vocabulary also matters, but uh, once you start writing it, automatically you learn new vocabulary. So it's not like you have to focus separately on that. But uh, I think that uh, you need good editing skills because one can write easily, but you should know what the points you have to remove and what is the main point. So. editing matters actually so it uh, it only shapes your final content which you are giving to your audience so uh, so i think that's more important than focusing more on your vocabulary yeah i i also think that when you start researching for writing a content you go through a lot of articles and blogs which will eventually give you a lot of words to learn from and uh, that i uh, like this it gradually increases your exposure towards new words and you start to put and implicate the same words to, into the content hello can you hear me yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no what what i said was like when you start researching for the content or your blog that you want to write you will come up with a lot of blogs and articles that you research that are uh, aligned to the same topic that you are going to write so obviously gradually you are exposed to learning new vocabulary and new words that the, the, those articles or those articles are written. so it will also give you a, a good idea of how you have to frame your content around that okay right chandan akash pravin any questions so one more thing yeah so this uh, content writing so one thing that abhinya uh, told was about uh, seo the other thing what uh, ravina told was just for the uh, client that we are going to work for with content with object and one thing that rajivan spoke was about uh, what is that a marketing aspects of content so how do we do we need to have different uh, mindsets to work on different contents or Like a single content writer can come up with all these for any of these things. A uh, single write content writer can come up with any of this because it's just different uh, types of uh, writing style. So you just have to learn. Like uh, if you write, a, there is difference in writing a blog and writing an ad copy and writing a press release. So uh, a single person can do all that, but you have to learn to write that particular style. So it takes time and. by practicing you can excel and you can um, a single person can learn different styles of writing so, so it so doesn't mean want... that sorry 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 sir so it doesn't mean that uh, one cannot learn more than one or two styles so i can for example if i can write a blog and i can also learn to write about a press release as well so, so it takes uh, like uh, initiative and uh, There is no stop. Like uh, you should. But to say that a single person can write more than one or two sides. So, but everything is a uh, different skill, actually. Yeah, actually, you should learn that skill. Okay, so, so which one would you suggest to start first with? 
start first group i should i would uh, say first you should uh, start uh, with uh, writing ad copy writing ad copy okay. yeah for social media platforms okay okay um i think uh, the zoom call has a 40 minute uh, video call limit and uh, i don't think uh, if uh, cutting it abruptly will be good so i'll just conclude this video right now and uh, we'll end this meeting and after this video i'll uh, give i'll be giving you a activity to do over the weekend so that everyone can come up with their own kind of creative which is which will be posted on our uh, rescale lines uh, social media pages and i'll give them a brief about uh, what they're going to do on our group uh, so thank you so much for the time and uh, connecting over this call so we'll be doing this on a weekly basis and uh, we'll yeah 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 mute mute Yeah. Astik. Astik yeah. asked a question. Yeah. Yeah. So, Astik, the reason why you are uh, collecting leads of restaurants from various countries. Yeah. Is uh, Reach Thailand right now are developing a product for restaurants. Oh, okay. So right now, why we are not forcing on selling or any other thing is because of this Corona lockdown. Uh, so right now we are only looking at building leads. So once this Corona lockdown is over, we will let you know how we can take this to the next level. So before, until, and until what uh, this thing is happening, stay with us, uh, get engaged, get entertained also. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, thank you so much for your time. Uh, we'll we'll be meeting again uh, next week and uh, one one more. Uh, person from our team will be uh, talking about something okay we'll end this call right now and i don't want the call to end uh, abruptly thank you thank you so much for your time we'll meet again next week if you guys want to talk also just let's uh, let us know we can give you a uh, quarter minute time for speaking okay thank you so much have a great day bye bye yeah. uh, and yeah, if anybody wants to share anything we can like always call up on a meeting because they like, are all bored home so Any time, any day, forty minutes. Any of you can just ask. Me, Let's have a Zoom call. I want to share some knowledge. We can always open this platform and share knowledge with each other. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Peace out.